Welcome back. In today's video, which is the seventh in a series showing you how to make a professional website using WordPress, I'm going to show you how to work with images and image galleries in WordPress. This is going to be a fun video because images can completely change the look and feel of your website. So let's get started. Wait a minute. Before we get started, if you haven't watched videos one through six, you should take the time to do so. And now would also be a great time to subscribe to my channel. Now, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is log into our WordPress website and come to our dashboard. Then, I'm gonna show you where your media files are stored. They are stored over here in your media library. Now, you can either visit your media library here or you can add a new image to your media library here. But, typically I don't add images directly to my library. I add them to pages and posts. So let's just visit the library real quick by clicking it. Here is my media library. And again, I can add new images directly here, but I don't usually do that. I usually write a page or a post, and then I insert the image directly into that page or post. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Okay, so let's go over here to posts on the side and then to all posts. I'm gonna use a post that I have previously written already. And I'm going to use the post, how to get a domain name, video number one. So underneath that, click on edit, or you can create a new post for this. Now I have some text here, and I want to insert an image into this post. So I'm gonna put the cursor right here at the beginning, and you can insert the image wherever you want, but I'm gonna insert it here at the beginning. And then click on add media right above your post. Now you can choose an existing image from your media library, or you can upload a new file. I'm going to upload a new file. And then I'm going to click here on select files because I'm going to find an image on my computer. Okay, so the images I wanna use are in this folder. So the first image I want to use is this one here. Here's the title. I'm gonna title it something reasonable like uh, domain name because that's what the post is about. And now, and I've told you this in a previous video, but putting in the alt text for each image is very important. It's important for two reasons. The most important reason is that for people with disabilities, the alt text will allow them to know what the image is. For instance, if a person can't see, the alt text should describe the image in such a way that the person will know what the image looks like. Don't use image of or picture of in your alt text. Just describe the image. So for this image, which is a picture of a little boy running in a yard, that's what I'll put. I can make it a little more descriptive by saying little smiling boy running in my yard. You want the alt text to be as descriptive as possible. The second reason you want to have descriptive alternate text is because Google uses that text to index your images, and that provides another way for users to find your website. Now I'm going to click insert into post. There's my image in my post. Now, let's talk about alignment. Click on the image and you will see a little pencil appear up here. You can click that for advanced editing or you can just use these little boxes here to align your image. This is align left. And this will allow the text to roll around your image on the right. Let me show you. See the text here on the right of the image now? You can also align it in the center or on the right, or you can have no alignment whatsoever, which means your text will go under the image or above it. Now, you can also edit your alternate text by clicking the pencil here, and you can also add a caption which will appear over your image on the website. When you're done setting it up the way you want to, click Update. Now, let's click Update here. And let's view our post by clicking here. Now, here is my post with an image. Now, to edit this page, simply go to Edit up here at the top. You don't have to go to the dashboard and then go to All Posts and then open the post to edit it. You can just simply click on Edit Post. You will also have this option on Pages that you are editing. Now, keep in mind that you can choose any image you want off your computer, but I would recommend choosing a small image that doesn't take up much space because you want your website to load fast. Also, when you're uploading images, 
try to use your own images or find some on websites that offer free images. Don't just use Google Images to find the images you like because it is very likely that those images are copyrighted and then you can get yourself sued. Yes, that happens. So now I'm gonna explain featured images. This is how we get images to show up on our home page. This is really cool. Let's look at our home page real quick. Go up here to the top left corner to your website's name and then click on visit site. Here's our home page right now. And here's our posts that we have featured on the home page. I want an image to appear here on my how to get a domain name video number one, which is the post I'm editing right now. So I'm going to go back to where I just was. And if you scroll down as you're editing your posts, you'll see here, set featured image. Let's click that. And then I'm going to choose the image I uploaded into the post. The title and the alt text are already set, so that's good. Now I'm going to click Set Featured Image. Great. I'm going to scroll up and click Update. Now I'm going to go back to my home page and take a peek. Boom. We now have that image right there. That's really cool. That's really going to spice up our home page. Let's go ahead and set featured images for these two posts as well. And then we will have three nice square high quality pictures on the front of our website and we still have the excerpt for our post underneath the picture. We are finally getting our home page to look like we want it to look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to my blog page. Now I could just go to my dashboard and then go to all posts and then open the posts that way, but I'm going to navigate to my blog page, scroll down so I can see my posts. Here's my first post, and that looks pretty crummy because you see my featured post and the image I put into the post. So let's go ahead and edit that real quick. Let's click here and then click edit post and let's remove the image from the post by clicking on it and then clicking the X. Then click update. Now on my blog page you will just see the featured image. That looks better. Let's go ahead to this one here, how to find quality web hosting. Click it and then click edit post. Now I'm going to set a featured image for this post by scrolling down to featured image here on the lower right. I will set featured image. I will upload files. Then I will click select files. Then I'm going to choose this image. It's an image I've prepared beforehand. I'm going to call it web host. And for the alternate text, I'm going to type in little girl rejoicing on the beach with waves in the background. And then I'm going to click Set Featured Image. Then I'm going to scroll up and click Update. Now I'm going to go to my home page and take a look. Scroll down a little bit. And here we go. We have this image that I added first, this image that I just added onto this post. Now let's go ahead and add a featured image to this post as well. Click the post. Click Edit Post. Scroll down click set featured image, click upload files, select files, find the file you want, here's mine, set your title, add your alt text, a little boy and girl eating hot dogs on a beach, and then click set featured image. Then scroll up, click update, and now let's go visit our homepage again. Boom. Our homepage is starting to look pretty sweet now. We're still going to have to update this stuff later. But this is starting to look like a nice website now. Now that we know how to add images to pages and posts, let's talk a little bit about image galleries. Because image galleries are pretty darn cool. This is where the power of Jetpack comes in. So let's go to our dashboard. Now let's look at Jetpack and Jetpack settings. Scroll down and you'll see that we have tiled galleries activated. Tiled galleries are what we're going to use to create some very cool image galleries in our WordPress website. So let's go to posts here on the left and then click add new. And I'm going to title this post sample image galleries for WordPress. Keep in mind that you should always be using the Yoast plugin to make your posts as keyword rich and Google friendly as possible. 
I haven't made a video on the Yoast plugin yet, but I will soon. But keep in mind, it's all down here where it says Yoast SEO. You put in your keyword, your title, your meta description, and then you can analyze your page as you go. So I will teach you how to use that plugin soon. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to call this post Sample Image Galleries for WordPress. Then I'm going to add a gallery. So what I'll do first is I'll click Add Media, and then I'll click Create Gallery in the upper left. Now, you can upload files like I've showed you to do already, or you can choose existing images in your media library. For the time being, I will choose existing images to make this a little bit easier. I'm going to choose the three that I just uploaded. So I will click this one, I will click this one, and I will click this one. You can see that those three are now checked. Now I will click Create a New Gallery in the bottom right here. Now I can put captions on these images if I would like. And I'm not going to right now, but I would recommend that you try it and see what they look like. This will be a three column gallery. You can change that. You can have them show up in random order. Let's do that. And what type of gallery do we want? I want circles. Now remember, you're not going to see these options in here if you don't have Jetpack tiled galleries activated. So I'm going to click circles and then I'm going to click insert gallery. Now I have my gallery here. I'm going to choose a category and right now I don't have a good category. I don't want to use this one because all posts in this category are featured on my home page. So I'm going to add a new category and I'm going to call it WordPress image galleries and then I will click add new category and now you can see that this post will be categorized in this category. Now I'm going to click publish. Now let's view this post by clicking view post. Here is the image gallery that we just created. If you click on one of these images, the image will open in a very cool light box that Jetpack creates. You can scroll through your images here, and folks can comment on your images here. So you can see that this could be very useful for setting up a photography website, for example. Let's X out of here by clicking the X in the upper left, and we are back to our post. Let's go ahead and edit this post and put a couple more galleries in there to show you what they look like. Edit post and I'm going to make sure the cursor here is down on the next line by clicking enter. Okay, Here's my cursor now and I'm going to click add media. I'm going to click create gallery. I'm going to click these first three images again. I'm going to click create a new gallery and this time I'm going to choose tile the mosaic. Okay, so this is what it looks like on our preview page here, but let's see what it looks like on the actual post. Click Update, and then click View Post. So here's our first image gallery with the circles, and here's our next image gallery. This is our tiled mosaic. Very cool. Again, if you click the image, it will take you to a very cool slideshow. Congratulations, you now know how to add images to pages and posts, and you know how to create image galleries in your pages and your posts. You also know how to put featured images on your posts, and these will show up on your blog page, remember? So here are the featured images on my blog page, and remember those featured images also show up on our home page. So let's go back and look at our blog page. One last thing here that I want to show you. Look at this. On this first blog post, both of my galleries show up in my preview on my blog page. If you want to control how much of your blog post is actually previewed on your blog page, that's easy to control. So let's go to this post, click Edit Post. I only want this first gallery to appear in my preview. I don't want all the galleries to show up. What if I had four galleries in here? I would only want the first one to show up on my blog page. I don't want my whole post showing up. So I can control how much shows up by putting a little command right here. So go up here to your controls for your post. Now if you click this you will see additional options show up, but we don't need that right now. I just wanted to let you know that. Let's use this one here. It's called the insert read more tag. 
So I inserted that here. Now all that will show up in my preview is this first gallery. Let's click update and see. I'm going to go to my home page and then to my blog. Then I will scroll down and now you see only this first gallery appears and then the more tag. Now if you click more then you will see the entire post. Most themes actually just put an excerpt here. So for this particular theme you're going to have to insert the more tag into each post if you only want an excerpt to appear. For example, for this post, maybe I would want the, the more tag to be right here. So to do that, I would just go to the post, click edit post, and then I will put my more tag right here. And then I will click update, and then I will go back to my blog page and see what it looks like now. There's my first post. There's my next post, and now there's just a little bit of text here with the more tag. I like that a lot better. Now like I said, you don't typically have to do this with most themes, but with this one for some reason you do. So now here's our home page. It's coming along quite nicely. I'm going to finish this section up in an upcoming video soon, I promise. And that's what we have so far. Now when we click on another page, we can see our sidebar. We're also going to have to work on updating this sidebar in future videos because right now it looks a little bit sloppy. So I will show you how to do that in an upcoming video as well. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you learned a lot. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stick around. There will be a new video in about a week.